can check you. I'm sorry? Huh? I can't speak Turkish, sorry. Ah, so yabancı. Yes. Nerede? Iraq. Iraq. Iraq, yes sir. Sigara içiyor mu? I'm sorry? Sigara. Oh, I don't smoke, no. Niye? No, smoking. İçmiyor mu? Healthy. Kendi temiz diyorsun ha. Kendi kendi çekiyorsun burada. <gülüyor> okay, bakalım ha. This is some weird ass dude. Yeah, I don't know. Hello people, how are you doing? This is a brand new video. As I promised on Instagram, I'm going to talk about dictionaries and everything about dictionary. The details. What it is dictionary? Do you know your dictionary? Do I know my dictionary? Who knows the dictionary? What is inside dictionary? We're going to talk all about this in this video. So, here we go! We're back again ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about dictionaries as I said, I'm not going to talk about like, something different, of course dictionaries. Anyway, dictionaries, do you know your dictionary? If you don't know your dictionary, you should know your dictionary. And if you're watching me and you want other people to know about the dictionaries, get them to this channel. Let's know the dictionary and subscribe to it. Ladies and gentlemen. Basically, dictionaries, there are so much dictionaries, but for me, amazing two dictionaries, which is Exford and Merriam-Webster, are amazing. Let me make myself very clear. This video, I'm going to talk about the dictionary, which is the dictionary. The paper dictionary. The pages dictionary. I'm not talking about electronic on phone dictionary because I prefer papers. When I was 12, when I started to read dictionary, I don't care about dictionary. I don't care what it is, what's inside, what's outside, what I need, what I don't need, no, no, no. The only thing I care about is words and I know the meanings and I kept, always kept, like building my vocabularies and all that. So, if you are 19 or 18, you are old. You're not 12 or 11, not like me. So you should know your dictionary. So basically we're going to talk about two things which are prescriptive dictionary and there is descriptive dictionary what does it mean prescriptive and descriptive all say say what does it mean of course that's why i made video i'm, I'm sorry anyway. prescriptive just like a doctor you go doctor you say to him i am sick the doctor he has so much experience he doesn't doesn't tell you what's happened what's everything and happen with your body and everything he just said to you go pharmacy you buy this medicine and you'll be perfect Basically, prescriptive is the same. You open the dictionary, you find the word and the meaning. This is done, finished. The meaning of the word, maybe they give you a sound, but that's pretty much all. This is for very advanced level. So if you are, if you are a student, very advanced level, and you know so much about English, you speak English fluently, you go prescriptive. It's going to be very helpful. Now, we come to descriptive. Basically, descriptive is, is going to describe to you the word. You're gonna see the word, but going to give you maybe an example, going to give you the meaning, going to give you the sound, going to give you the word, you're going to see this word that you're looking for in different kind of words, you're gonna see all so much example that you can use. My advice to you, if you are like learning English as a second language, you should go descriptive because it's going to help you so much to build a vocabulary. This is the idea of dictionaries, building a vocabulary. If you're high level in English and you know so much about your English, if you're advanced, you buy prescriptive, prescript, you go, I don't speak English now, you go buy prescriptive dictionary. If you want so little something like challenge yourself and blah blah blah, you go prescriptive. Agree, Tamo? Okay. Now, we're gonna jump to the second thing which is, there is phonetic and there is syllable. Dictionary use phonetics and syllables. We're going to phonetics. Basically, phonetics is if you study English, you know such things. Yeah, phonetics that commonly used in dictionaries, the IPA, which is the International Phonetic Alphabet. Uh, I talked about schwa, and my, and my previous video is gonna pop up here. We've talked about schwa. This schwa is phonetic. You can find it in the dictionaries, like like this and. 
reverse E and we've got the syllable basically syllable is more easy for me I, that's what I think I'm going to cut the word for you in order to read it like uh, comfortable comfortable I'm going to cut it for you or number number like syllable Phonetics is going to show you how the world sound like and syllables is going to show you how the world look like you like this, like commercial advertisements anyway, what part of the speech is the word? It's, is it noun? is it verb? is it adjective? is it adverb? is it beautiful? beautify? beautifully? beautician? you're gonna find which one in the dictionary go check your dictionary you should know what part of the speech is the word that you're looking for and to build more vocabulary you should know everything for example you go look for beauty if you go look for beauty in order to build more vocabulary you know beauty is noun you go search for the verb which is beautify and which makes something beautiful and you go search for adjective you're gonna search for another word which comes from beauty this is the way we build our vocabulary which is a very important way because if you don't know what part of the speech is this word you're going to use the word very badly and this is I don't want you to do and there is another forms of uh, the word you can go check it out and uh, let us not forget something I'm going to give you two tips which are very extremely important first tip is when you look for a word you look up and down of the word because some words are connected which gives the same meanings like if we look there's something called prefixes which is important impossible impotent and words like start with an I am I am those words somehow it's gonna stay here because this is like the same words it's nothing different you know something like inside in inside in inside so this is help your uh, to build a good vocabulary this is very important second tip is going to be if you open dictionary and you read one word two word three words five blah blah blah blah you make sentence about those words and here be careful when you make sentence about those words it should be like here like printed in your brain so make good sentences and don't forget rules you should know what part of the speech is the word so this is two tips which are extremely important I don't have much to say to you about dictionary this is pretty much all know your dictionary before you buy your dictionary and knowing vocabulary is know when you see it know when you hear it know how to say it and understand what it means it's very important I'm wishing you all the best ladies and gentlemen my friends guys everybody I wish you all the best be motivated be inspired work hard for your English make it the best make it like a lifestyle like the way I did it it's very important and it's going well so far so ladies and gentlemen if this video helps you so much with your English if there is information that I spoke about in this video and you want to share it with your friends like invite them to this video or Kobe and share this link to your friends let them know about those videos if it's very important this is pretty much it ladies and gentlemen uh, like share and comment below on my YouTube channel on my video and tell me what do you think what do you want my next video is going to be about and don't forget uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell for more uh, notification when I post on my YouTube channel thank you so much see you on my other splendid day which I'm going to talk about I don't know about but we're going to talk about something very important yeah I can promise you that much yeah that's pretty much all. yeah bye bye, -bye.